Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at some more 3 and 3 quarter inch figures from Star Wars The Last Jedi. And in today's review we're going to take a look at another recurring character from Star Wars The Force Awakens. And in many ways the main antagonist and the villain of the piece. That is of course none other than Kylo Ren. This is a really really cool figure. However it wasn't one that I was planning to pick up on Force Friday 2. Uh, due to the absence of the TIE silencer on UK shelves at the moment, this figure had to suffice for my Kylo Ren fix, but I'm really glad that I picked it up. It's a really nice figure, it comes with some really cool accessories and some nice details, all of which we're going to touch base on throughout this review. So before we do that, as always, there's a link down below in the video description where you can purchase this figure for yourself. And before we jump into the review itself, we are of course going to take a look at the packaging that he comes in. Once again, we do have the brand new packaging look for the Last Jedi line. We've got a really cool, very dramatic image of Kylo Ren on the side of the card with the character name just below that and the Star Wars logo just off to the side. On the front of the bubble, you've got an image or an advertisement rather for the Force Link feature, which again is explained in a little bit more detail on the back of the card. And coincidentally enough, the Force Link starter kit is actually released with another Kylo Ren figure which, as you can see, features his helmet from The Force Awakens. So uh, it really depends on what your preference is when it comes to Kylo Ren, whether you prefer his face to be covered or whether you prefer him to be exposed. This is the figure that you'll want to get if you want the human likeness visible. But the Force Link starter kit is the place to go for a helmeted Kylo Ren. So we're going to talk about the figure now. Uh, just before we do, one thing that I've uh, not touched base on in many of my, well, in any of my reviews of the Last Jedi figures, really, is the fact that the Force Link tags are located in the foot of the figures. And as you can see, you've got this little blue tag on the bottom of your figure, which just differentiates these Force Link figures from the other ones in your collection, so you can tell which ones are Force Link sensitive. So that's just something to point out before we get into this review. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. Uh, as I said, this is a really, really cool one. I'm not 100% sure whether he is different in any way to the Kylo Ren figure that is available with the TIE silencer. I do know that the figure released with the vehicle doesn't feature the cape, um, and the cape on this one is removable, so I'll give you a look at that in just a moment. But in terms of the rest of the figure, I'm not sure whether they're exactly the same or whether they're completely different. So if anyone's got the TIE silencer and has got this figure and have been able to compare the two, I'd love to know um, the differences. The figure itself is really, really nice. The head sculpt is absolutely spot on. In many ways, it's, I'd not say better, but it's definitely on par with the unmasked Kylo Ren figure that was released uh, towards the end of the Force Awakens line. Obviously this time around Kylo's hair is a little bit more flat to his head, he's got a much more serious demeanour about him and as you can see he's also got the scar that Rey gave him at the end of The Force Awakens down the face. Now what I really like about the scar itself is the fact that not only is it painted but it's actually engraved into the figure's face so you've got that added bit of depth in the sculpt which is fantastic. As you can see, Kylo Ren's outfit does differ slightly to the outfit he wore in The Force Awakens. You've got a much shorter tunic, you've got a very Vader-esque cape going on as well. Um, and this is a much more practical outfit when it comes to lightsaber duels. And from some of the behind-the-scenes footage we've seen of Adam Driver in training for The Last Jedi, it definitely looks like Kylo is going to see a ton of action in the new film. Now, as I said, the cape is removable. The cape itself is plastic and as you can see you've got some really nice sculpted detail on there. So it almost got this sort of fake leather look to it. And the cape itself can be removed to give you a much better look at the outfit underneath. Now as I said you've got this much more practical um, sort of shortened version of the outfit Kylo wore in The Force Awakens which coincidentally enough is very similar to the outfit worn by Anakin Skywalker, at least in concept art from Revenge of the Sith. If any of you guys have picked up that figure from the Legacy Collection many moons ago, then you'll definitely see some similarities in terms of the overall appearance. So it definitely looks like Kylo Ren is dipping into the family wardrobe when it comes to his attire in these films. 
In terms of articulation, Kylo Ren is a standard 5 POA figure, so he features a ball joint at the head, swivels at the shoulders and swivels at the hips, and he does come with his famous cross guard lightsaber, which again, like with figures from The Force Awakens, is a really, really nice sculpt. However, the blade, I've noticed, is much thinner than some of the previous releases, so it is likely to snap. So just be careful with that. It's very bendy, very fragile, but a great sculpt nonetheless. So a really, really nice figure. Again, an alternate take on Kylo Ren. Um, I wouldn't say this is a must-have figure uh, because he's not dramatically different to Kylo Ren from The Force Awakens. However, if you're like me and you've just got to have every version of every character, then this is going to be a worthy addition to your collection. And it's a great figure in its own right. So I definitely recommend picking it up. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed this review and I will be back with some more very, very soon. Until then, as always, thank you for watching. Keep collecting and may the force be with you.